to which departed one have you come to pay your last respects? <laughs> Thank you. Our late father, Calvin P. Jackson. Well, I can assure you that all arrangements are in proper order. Slumberhaven Chapel is known for the attention we pay to the small details. Here is your heart. Ah! Is everything satisfactory? Everything's fine except for one small detail. Mm. This ain't our father. Your father was Kelvin P. Jackson, was he not? Yeah, but that ain't him. For one thing, our father had a mustache. Mr. Jackson, I can assure you there can be no mistakes. In its 50 years, Slumberhaven has changed the complexion of the undertaking industry. Yeah, not to mention the complexion of some of the stiffs. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jackson, in your grief, you are understandably confused. If you and your family will just take a seat, I'm sure my eulogy will make your heart lighter. I believe you, because you sure made him a lot lighter. <laughs> we get out of here. Mr. Jackson, whether you attend the services or not is up to you. But it will still cost you the agreed-upon sum of $5,000. <gasps> Over my dead body. Well, that would be ten thousand. <laughs> it's sort of like double or nothing. <laughs> I'll take nothing. Bye. Mr. Jackson, how would it look? An upstanding man like yourself, denying our father any father. His last wish, simply because of the color of his skin. Well, I guess it won't do no harm. But somewhere out there, some white man's family is in for a big surprise. <laughs> Kelvin P. Jackson was born 75 years ago in Russia. Oh, wait a minute. He was born in Macon, Georgia, 82 years ago. To poor but hard-working parents. Well, it sounded like they had the same parents. <laughs> Twelve years later, he and his family escaped from the bigoted and terrorizing Cossacks. Hmm. Cossacks. Must be Russian for Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> <laughs> Forty years later, after struggling up life's ladder, he became a successful businessman. He was New York's most recognized man in ladies' dresses. No, that's a lie. He only wore them around the house. <laughs> in his life, although he amassed a great fortune and a wealth of worldly possessions, he denied himself so that his five children could inherit his billion-dollar empire when he died. Dad! Just a second. Just a second. Ah! I'm afraid there's been a mistake. This Calvin P. Jackson had five children, but they were named Fred, Frank, Dave, Bernie, and Murray. Uh, it's no mistake. I'm Fred, and this is Frank, Dave, Murray. Hi, Bernie. But you also said... Never mind what I said. We just had a little trouble recognizing Daddy. Hmm? See, this is the first time we ever saw him wearing a suit. <laughs> but you also insisted that your father was black. Yeah, I said that, but... He had one distinguishing feature, hmm? a birthmark. Oh, yeah. where? Well, it was a big white one covering his entire body. <laughs> oh, my papa, to me you were so wonderful. 